Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and I am here with SCP-2932, also known as Titania's Prison. There's another uh, SCP that's in what's known as the Cactusverse or Project Paragon, which all seems to be related in some way, shape, or form. Let's begin. Item number SCP-2932 Object Class Domino Special Containment Procedures SCP-2932 is currently contained at its location of discovery. Mobile Task Force or Xenite the Wardens has been tasked with handling in containment of efforts. <clears throat> Including reduction of public awareness of SCP-2932 in nearby towns and villages, and an amnestic treatment of individuals who come into contact with SCP-2932. A fence perimeter has also been established around SCP-2932, with warnings posted about a protected nature reserve within. This perimeter is routinely patrolled. MTF Z9 has also been given orders to work alongside SCP-2932-A in an effort to contain instances of SCP-2932-1 that have escaped from SCP-2932. Information gathered from SCP-2932-A regarding possible Euclid and Keter class entities originating from SCP-2932 is listed in this document. MTF Z9 personnel as well as additional Foundation staff members assigned to SCP-2932 are to familiarize themselves with this information. Efforts are ongoing to attempt repairs of SCP-2932-2, although due to the complexity of the object and the nature of the, its design, personnel must maintain care in their duties as to not upset the already fragile state of SCP-2932-2. Foundation staff medical doctor Foundation staff and local doctors that have been trained in the function of SCP-2932-2 are to rotate on a six-hour shift to ensure that a doctor is always available in the event of an emergency. Information regarding this object gathered from SCP-2932-A is detailed later in this document. Should SCP-2932-2 experience a gross failure, experimental all power supply systems are to be activated in an attempt to maintain the current functions of SCP-2932. Should these supplies prove inadequate, MTF-9 and additional security personnel are to prepare for a massive breach of containment scenario. No, personnel are reminded to not, are reminded not to attempt authorization from internet organisms, as this often results in retaliation from the guard organisms. Updated Containment Memorandum Per Pro Foundation Protocol 2513.99, the ongoing containment of SCP-2932 has been transferred to the jurisdiction of Project Paragon. All other extant containment procedures remain in place. <sighs> Description SCP-2932 is a massive, organic structure located within the Reserva Communal El Sierra in eastern central Peru. Externally, SCP-2932 consists of trees, vines, and other plant life that has been formed into a large domed structure. Lighting around the exterior of SCP-2932 consists of an array of bioluminescent bulbs that grow from within SCP-2932. These are species that, until the discovery of SCP-2932, was not identified, along with many other instances of plant life that exist throughout SCP-2932. The dome structure itself is indestructible and attempts to death. Image dome um, often result in retaliation by aggressive and hostile mobile plant-based organisms that act as guards to SCP-2932. The main door to SCP-2932, located on the south side of the structure, cannot be opened without authorization from an entity within SCP-2932, or without authorization from a genetic etching organism that exists near the entrance. The main level interior of SCP-2932 consists of a number of arch hallways and large rooms. 
Equally organic in nature as the exterior of SCP-2932, with similar lighting organisms throughout. Investigation of these areas has indicated that at one point rooms were administrative offices for the lower portions of SCP-2932. And sites of habitation exist in a large in a number of larger areas. Information has been gathered from the section regarding instances of SCP-2932-1. And has been filed out with information gathered from SCP-2932-A. The lo lower levels of SCP-2932 are below ground and consists primarily of a massive open chamber with numerous catwalk structures leading to various landings throughout. Most of the available wall space is covered in cocoon-like pods composed of an extremely durable plant matter, which would increase in size in lo lower in the chamber. The apparent use of these pods are to contain instances of SCP-2932-1. To the right of every pod is a device composed of various plant matters with a touch-based screen composed of a translucent silica construct that acts as an interface for the pod with which it is attached. Information regarding in the SCP-2932-1 entity contained within the pod is listed, as well as mechanism, as well as the mechanism by which to open and close the pod, although this option is locked out to individuals without the proper genetic identification. While the overwhelming majority of these pods are intact and listed as active, at least an unknown amount have been ruptured. SCP 2932A is an elderly Class 1 near humanoid entity that resides within SCP 2932 and acts as its caretaker. SCP 2932A has six primary appendages and walks upright on rare 2. SCP-2932-A's torso has two primary segments, both covered in a, in a fine long hair. The head of SCP-2932-A is roughly overloaded with two sets of eyes, one compound and one unvertebraic. The front of the head contains a, a humanoid mouth and a long prehensile nasal structure. The top of SCP-2932-A its head contains a number of small spines, but is mostly covered in additional long gray fine hair. On its back, SCP-2932 has four large insectoid wings, although these display damage that did not properly heal. SCP-2932-2 is a large vascular open organ suspended in the center of SCP-2932's main chamber, and serves as the primary power source for SCP-2932. SCP-2932-2 pulsates at a pace of approximately 8 beats per minute, while this has been known to drop to as low as 3 beats per minute during emergency events. According to SCP-2932-A, SCP-2932-2 is the heart of the goddess Titania, who constructed a prison with her own body and put her heart within it to sustain it. Hmm. <sighs> Given information gathered from SCP-2932-A, it has been deduced that at SCP-2932 was once and currently is a massive incarceration system designed to contain a large number of creatures and other entities. Due to a catastrophic event affecting the original owners of SCP-2932, see document in Alpha 1596-1000 for more information. Oh, it's just SV-1000 again. Okay. The site was closed and the responsibility of containment was left to a skeleton crew of SCP-2932 staff members, of whom 2932-A was the warden. Over time, this contingent of personnel either perished, defected, or disappeared, and the facility began to fall all into disrepair. This, coupled with the increasingly fraught agility of SCP-2932's main power supply, SCP-2932-2 caused a number of containment pods to malfunction, releasing their contents. <coughs> interview 2932-A The following interview was conducted during ex early exploration of SCP-2932. Shortly after the first personnel were allowed into the structure by SCP 2932A, initial communication with 2932A was hampered by a language barrier as 2932 was capable of speaking only its own native language and Quechua. 
Once the translator what became available, the interview was conducted. Obviously, the interview is going to be written in English because we don't know how to speak anything else. Date, August 14th, 1985, or at least that's my guess. Interviewer, Dr. Zed Johnson. Interviewee, SCP-2932-A. Translator, Dr. F. M. R. Begin long, Ug. Thank you for meeting with me, ESP-2932-A. I have a number of questions for you if that uh, it's alright. It is, please. Can we have your name for the record? My name? My name... Caspin is my name. Who constructed this place? The... well... My people were the builders of Titania's prison. The throne of the night came to us and knowing us as a people of fine craftsmanship, commissioned the prison to be built. Why did they want to build a prison? Those were different times, friend. The children of the night were powerful, yes, and influential, very, but in their dominance of the world, they too had collected enemies, greater and more terrible than any that exist now. The children of the night prayed to glorious Titania. She gave unto them their her heart, which we then, we then used to craft her prison. What happened that caused the disrepair that we have observed throughout SCP-2932? Aggressive clicking. Do not be so coy, child of the sun. You know very well what the cause of this was. Certainly you have not forgotten so easily. This is obviously a reference to the event that caused the throne of the night to be so rare and unknown. I see. SCP-2932-A, some of the pods throughout SCP-2932 have been damaged. What do you know about the entities contained within them? <sighs> they were nothing. Raindrops before a greater storm. As the heart began to fail, it, be it became imperative that more power be diverted to the truly great enemies of the Children of the Night. Because of this, some of the lesser escaped. Those that I could, I destroyed. Others became victims to Titania's guardians. Few escaped. Truly great enemies? Yes. <laughs> like I said, there are many creatures that haunted even the Children of the Night. And the greatest of those, the ones that could not be killed, were brought here. The gods has been gracious and has not uh, uh, given them their freedom. Should a heart fail, though? The throne of the, strong, of the sun are strong, yes? We are not the throne of the night. We would be nothing more than sand before the, t before the tide. End the log. Addendum 2932-1 the following logs have been gathered from terminals regarding, regarding potentially dangerous SCP-2932-1 entities, most of the which, which are in active containment. Notes gathered from SCP-2932-A are listed and SCP-2932-A has provided full translations for all of the entries. Whew. <sighs> Prisoner name, Aphelia. Incarceration, active. Date of incarceration, Night moon, 17th cycle, 4533 rotations. Sentence, endless rotation. SCP-2932A notes, Yes, Aphelia was a dangerous one. She lived within this forest and hunted for the children when the night came. She was... Uh, not as you are, or as the children were. I do not know from whence she came, but it was a place that abhors a pleasing form. 
She was disgusting and beautiful, and she murdered the youngest son of the Lord of the Night and turned his body into a puppet to lure the Lord's wife into the darkness. My glorious Titania, she will rot within that cell until the stars go out. First her name, Jan Kammer. Incarceration, active. Day of incarceration, 1 moon, 20 cycle, 4620 rotation. I'm not sure what these mean. Sentence, endless rotation. SV 2932 OA notes. Kammer was a creature of the heavens, fallen from the skies. The children believed that he was one of their dark gods, but soon found that he was only a beast, and a hungry beast. Thousands he devoured before the children and brought him down, and even as he was brought here, he threatened to devour us as well. They called Jan Kammer the ravenous one. I wonder or sometimes about how his hunger has grown. First the name, Malva Agartamor. Incarceration is inactive. Day of Art Incarceration, 2 moon, 90 cycle, 2711 in rotation. Sentence is endless rotation. I guess endless rotation means they are supposed to be stuck there forever. SCP 2932A notes. Some creatures brought into Titania's arms were lauded in the captive's praise, but Mav Agart Amor was brought in secret. Even I did not know of its incarceration until after it was done. The children assured me it was for the best that uh, I was kept unaware. I remember when and it escaped though, and the children and had not lied to me then. So it is best to not know. <sighs> Prison name? Adam L. Assam. We've heard of this one. Incarceration, inactive. Day of incarceration, 7 moon, 3 cycle, 4301 in rotation. Sentence, endless rotation. SCP 2932A notes. This one was a child of the sun, but the children of the sun abhorred him as much as the children of the night. Adam LSM could not could wheel things into existence with a glance, could move mountains and river and drag riverbeds by touching them. Something great and terrible lived within his mind, and the children wasted no time lashing him to the stone and giving him to Utatania. There are others like him, dangerous children of the sun from the east, but they are not here. There is a cell reserved here for the one on the desolation in his steps. And one for the other. I do not expect to fill them. Additional note, on April 7, 2015, the entryway to this cell collapsed and fell inward. An event later attributed to the gradual decay of the entire facility. The interior of the cell was found to be empty. When questioned about this, SCP-2932-A refused to admit that the cell was empty, and also refused to look, go look at the cell to confirm. While SCP-2932-A did not appear to have any predictions against the... Uh, any predilections against the area around the cell, the entity now refuses to even approach it. The only substantive information gathered from SCP-2932-A regarding the cell is a comment made after questioning whether or not SCP-2932-A knows what any of the entities contained within SCP-2932 actually are, where the entity He replied, I know what I was told. The dread has no reason to lie. Person or name, Fay. Incarceration, active. Date of incarceration, one moon, one cycle, tenth rotation. Sentence, endless rotation. Do you believe that the children of the sun were the first to overthrow those who came before them? Anyway, that was SCP-2932-A. 
Next up, I think we have uh, SCP-22. I mean, that was SCP-2932, Titania's Prison. Next, we will be reading SCP-2254, The Demon Lahire and the Valley of Lest. Wait. Actually, let me check this. We might not be able to cover it. No, we won't be able to cover it. <sighs> Instead, we'll be covering SCP-6666. The Demon Hector and the Dread Titania. Because, uh, as the other one was, uh, apparently graphically sexual in nature, and I am not covering stuff like that willingly. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Please join me next time to hear about... Hector and a Titania. Goodbye.